Well, it was one year ago today that the first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine arrived in La Crosse. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad introduces us to the first recipients who say for them, this moment lifted a tremendous weight off of their tired shoulders. One year ago today, we stood in this very spot as healthcare workers at Mayo Clinic Health System and Gunderson waited for something brand new to arrive in the community. And this single delivery inside the car of a Wisconsin State Trooper for these healthcare professionals was a sign of hope for La Crosse. It's been a really long year. As if 2020 didn't stack enough barriers in front of people like Jenny Templis. 2021 built its own barricade. We knew that this was going to, to help. Three boxes. Three boxes. Yep. Templis vividly remembers the day the first COVID-19 vaccine doses arrived at Mayo Clinic Health System's front door. Similar weather. It was a little gloomy. I mean, that tells you how powerful emotionally that experience was for all of us. Gunderson's Dr. Elizabeth Cogbill received the first dose of the vaccine inside her health care system. I just remember feeling so humbled and so privileged and honored to be in that position. Certified nursing assistant Katie Kotek is one of Mayo's first recipients. You never think you'll be picked first for something like that. Cogbill saw the impact the vaccines made in La Crosse's nursing homes. We saw the outbreaks almost completely stop. It was it felt miraculous. Yet here we sit with hospitals witnessing deja vu with rising cases, two new variants and a majority of hospital space filled with unvaccinated patients. All the hospitals keeping these people for weeks at a time and no visitors, you can't see your family. You know, the only people you're seeing is the medical professionals that are coming in there. That's hard. Cogville's experience taught her it is hard to find meaning where there is no experience. COVID is, is data and somewhat meaningless unless it touches you personally. Temple says she can only recommend the best options for people. You don't want to try to you know, force or you won't convince, but you provide information. She says she is glad her family chose the vaccine. I'm very grateful that the five of us aren't going to be spending the holiday in the hospital. Despite long hours and the pandemic's toll on these community neighbors, they continue their service, all because of the hope. I think hope sustains us. I believe that. That arrived in this box one year ago. The medical professionals we met today say they will continue to work as hard as they can to make sure there are always enough vaccine doses in the community so that anyone who decides to get vaccinated can do so at any time. Reporting in La Crosse, I'm Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. And officials at Gunderson say over the past year they have administered more than 134,000 vaccine doses.